I'm Byron McCormick, Executive Director of General Motors Fuel Cell Activities. Byron, tell us a little bit about this, I guess you could call it a vehicle behind us. <laughs> it certainly is. This is the skateboard that underlies the SQL vehicle. It's like we had in the autonomy and the high wire vehicle. And let me give you a quick tour of this and then you can see how it applies to the vehicle. Our goal here is to be able to use hydrogen with a fuel cell, zero emission vehicle, hydrogen powered, moving away from petroleum is the fuel. The center of the vehicle is hydrogen storage. These are compressed hydrogen storage tanks. The light green element there is the fuel cell stack that produces about 80 kilowatts worth of, uh, of, of, of electric power. That's split into an electric drive in the front to drive the front wheels. Conventional electric drive is an electric vehicle. And in the back, we've got something really pretty revolutionary here. We've got wheel hub motors where the motor is actually right in the hub. The beauty of this technology is that we can now control the force on each tire independently and we can do it instantaneously. It makes the car safer and in fact for people that are interested in performance this particular motor has high torque from the second you punch it all the way up to maximum RPM so you've got a, a, a flat torque curve this car will just kind of keep accelerating very very smoothly key element to the technology both in terms of safety and in terms of performance the other element of this is that now that we've put everything in the skateboard the center of gravity is low so the car is very stable feels very good and additionally our designers have got all of that freedom to design cars that, that people want, the style that people want, the performance people want, the utility people want. And at the end of the day, if we're going to move to sustainable energy, move away from petroleum, move to an environment where we just have zero emission, we've got to sell millions of these things. So that design flexibility is key to it because people buy cars, yes, for transportation, but they also buy them because they feel good about them and how they feel and what they do with them and so now we've got a lot of freedom for our designers to be able to do that that's the heart of the matter and that's why we think this is going to uh, be the revolutionary vehicle of the future you can build different body styles obviously for this vehicle unlike any other vehicle are they interchangeable is this something that theoretically you could take one off and put another one on uh, yeah we, we we've, we've actually looked at the idea of changing body parts out in the sequel we have not done that it's a little bit more conventional in, in the way we've done it in part because when we started with the autonomy, we did in a very aggressive and very different kind of a design. With the high wire, we had electric controls that, that our current car driver wouldn't be comfortable with, although i got to tell you, the kids understand it real quickly and say, oh, why don't you go to a joystick and things. So in the sequel, while we're moving the technology forward in terms of its performance and getting down the cost curve and all those kind of things, we've kind of taken a step backwards and made the car a lot more conventional. As soon as on the sequel, in fact, uh, we have a hood that looks like there's an engine under there. In fact, what's under there is an air conditioner and all the stuff that's usually under the dashboard. And um, all, all the real working parts are here. The thing about this vehicle is rather than what we did with the autonomy and high wire, we've kind of moved, moved it into the domain of things that people would really recognize today. And so when you first look at it, it looks like a conventional SUV, but there's a lot of things that are different. You've already seen the skateboard and you understand that, that it's very different underneath. Interior-wise, it looks like a conventional dashboard, but there's a lot of room in there. But what's really going on is that that place that's um, on the top of the dashboard where you normally would not be able to do anything, you know, you, you open your glove box and maybe you can put a, a, a little pamphlet or something in there, the whole dashboard opens up as, as a storage area. fact is there's nothing under there <laughs> but uh, except the airbags. Right. And, in fact, what we did is moved everything that was in the, in the dashboard up under the hood of the vehicle because now we don't have anything under the hood of the vehicle. So we've got a lot of flexibility here, and, and, and what we did with this is really design a vehicle that today's current car buyer would recognize and feel very much at home with, and that was our intention. Full performance, 300-mile range, 0 to 60 in the kind of times that they would expect, an interior that's styled along pretty much conventional lines, but when you start looking at the details, like that dashboard, you find out there are some things that are radically different, and if you've ever tried to store things in your car, you know how nice it is to have that kind of space. Is there any kind of time frame where something of this sort could be on the roads? Our CEO gave us the challenge, Rick Wagner gave us the challenge to have the technology ready to apply to a vehicle for the showroom around the 2010 time frame. In fact, specifically, he said, have the technology ready by the fourth quarter, 2009. What we have to do now is start to work with governments to worry about how we roll out the hydrogen infrastructure 
and start thinking about how we will design these vehicles. But if you'll notice, this is a full performance vehicle, and so we're, we're really getting quite confident about the performance of the technology. Now we're working with a supply base to bring the cost of the materials down, to get experience out on the highway, to find out what we need to do to make it rugged, durable, reliable, and